Masjid Gambut Mosque, Sat Masjid, is located near the northwestern outskirts of Dhaka in the Jafarbad area. The mosque illustrates a fine example of the provincial Mughi style of architecture introduced in Bangladesh in the 17th century. The mosque's most notable features are its seven bulbar stones crowning the roof and covering the main prayer hall. Probably erected by Governor Shaista Khan, the monument stands in a romantic setting on a buttressed 15-0 high bank overlooking an extensive floodplain. A few kilometers to the north of Belkana, along the end of Mughal Dhaka, was the Jafarbad or Kutija area, originally part of Musa Sarai Begumpa. Many of the Musas or avenue circles were delineated during the reign of Shersha and later by Kartalab Khan. A small urban settlement on record on a route along the river, this was an alternative to reach Brahmaputra or Gajaripa without having to go through the hostile areas along the main stream of Saitulakaya and Brahmaputra on the east. This is evident from its geographic and strategic location, origin of the names of the locality and the remnants around it. The place where the Seven Domed Mosque is was variously known as Sarai Jafarbad or Khatija, under Sarai Begumpa. There was a small agricultural community in between Pilkana and Jafarbad where the Sat Gambuj Mosque was built. The area in course of time became like a jungle due to disuse, dereliction and desertion mainly during the British period. However, in last 55 years it has become one of the most planned and most expensive residential enclaves of Dhaka. The Set Masjid Road is the major peripheral road of the district to its west, and believed to have been built roughly along where the old bank Rivetarag was. Picturesquely situated on the edge of the river, the Sat Gambuj Mosque in its exterior is the most innovative of all the Dhaka Mughal period monuments. The north and south ends of this three-domed rectangular mosque are each marked by two enormous double-storied corner pavilions, when viewed from the east these give the impression that the mosque has five exterior bays. On the east are three cusped entrances arches flanked by shallow niches. Slender engaged columns with bulbous spaces demarcate the central bay. As seen as the Lalba Fort Mosque, although this mosque's connets are more prominent, its interior compares favorably with it of others dating to the second half of the 17th century. The central mirab has two rows of gasping, and its surface is embellished with molded plaster relief, recalling the ornateness of the mirab in the mosque of Haji Kwa Ashabaz. Nawab Kwa Asanullah had the abandoned structure re-embellished as it was later listed in 1913 by the Asim. Some recent renovation jobs, for example applying the thick white plaster, have also drawn criticism from the experts. Like in and around many other heritage structures all over the country, the premises of Sat Gambuj Mosque is occupied by religious groups building illegal structures and extensions to the listed building, ignoring its heritage value that they abuse, building codes and rules, fiercely protecting their possessions. Unfortunately, few travelers see Sat Gambuj Mosque because of its somewhat remote location. 